message in this morning's Zevely Zone, Jepson Escondido, for the release of a special album. This Hanukkah, a mother and daughter took a treasured book of poems and turned them into music. And gave them to my children to cook them. Ruth Weber and Amelia Lopez Yanez aren't just mother and daughter. We're both professional musicians. So when Ruth asked Amelia if she wanted to record an album for the ages... I was really excited because we've worked on other projects together, but it's never been such a personal project. Personal because Amelia's great-grandmother and Ruth's grandmother, Betty Hertz, left the family her story. She always wrote poetry. A book of poems described Betty's daring escape from Russia during the Bolshevik Revolution. Right before the Holocaust broke out, uh, the last of her family escaped to the United States. Everybody has their own family history, but to have something written down that you can so clearly take note from is amazing. Years me Ruth spent years composing the music and finally invited Amelia to bring her beautiful voice. I picked a lot of mushrooms. And her oboe, too. During the pandemic, many recording studios were closed, but the show had to go on. Recording some of the album stuffed in a closet. This mom and daughter couldn't get any closer. I mean, we were in a small closet for a lot of hours every day. Not only are they still talking, they're sharing Betty's incredible story of survival. It's great to let people know about what immigrants have to go through when they come to the United States. One family member hid in an oven, another under a sack of potatoes to escape Russia. And not only did they all make it to America, I had a dream and it was wide. I had a dream, songs of an immigrant did too. We really grew closer through something, a shared interest. Covered with moss and there the mushrooms grew. I feel finally satisfied that I helped her finally get her story out there. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, News 8.